Hey everybody, this is Rob Major. It's great to be with you. I wanted to finish up the series that I've been doing on the song Africa by the group Toto. So far, I've taught the synth brass portion of the song, and also I have a video on the marimba portion of the song. But today, I wanted to sit down with you and work out the famous lead portion of that song. This lead is pretty complex, but I want to break it down for you so that you can understand it and uh, be able to learn it for yourselves. So let's dive in. To learn the lead part in Africa, what I want to do first, I want to teach you the right hand. And we're going to break it up into sections. Uh, we're playing in the key of B, so you're going to start out with a D sharp, and you're going to work your way down by th three notes at a time. Now what I mean by that is you're going to play three notes going down. Now you're going to go down a note, play three notes going down. Go down to the next note, three notes going down, and so on. You made it all the way down to there, and then you're going to end on the B. All right? So here's what it looks like in slow motion. And the timing of it is... 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1 E and a 2 E and. So the next thing I want to teach you is the left hand for that section. The left hand is going to do that same exact pattern that the right hand did, except it's going to start on B. So we're going to walk down. And we're going to end on that F sharp. So when you put the two together, that's what it looks like. So now that we've learned the right hand and the left hand for that first section, we're going to finish that section off by a four note little run. And what that four note run looks like on your right hand, remember we ended up on that B, we're going to go up to the C sharp, and work our way down to the F sharp like this with four notes. Okay? Let me do them slow so you can see them. Do the same thing with the left hand. It's going to do four notes starting with the G sharp and working its way down to the C sharp. Okay? So when they look when you see them together, but it's going to be quick like that. So this is what it's going to look like for that whole complete section. So let's move on to section two. I'm going to start with the right hand. We're switching actually key signatures now. So we're actually going to be playing in E. So we'll start with an A note on your right hand. And you're going to do these four notes going up. You're going to skip the B and you're going to Go up to the C sharp and then walk your way up to E. So that's your first four notes. And then once you hit that E, you're going to walk all the way back down the scale to an F sharp. So it's going to sound like this. Okay. Then after you hit that F sharp, you're going to go up to a B and walk all the way down to a D sharp. And then go back up to the B, F sharp, walking down to a C sharp. So again, you hit the first four notes, then you walk it down, and then so it's going to sound like this in rhythm. Now for your left hand. Your left hand is going to start with E, and those first four notes are going to be E, A, B, C sharp. Okay? And they're going to go along with that right hand that we showed earlier with those first four notes. Okay? Once you hit that C sharp, you're going to do the same thing you do with your right hand. You're going to follow it all the way down the scale. This time you're going to stop at a D sharp. Okay, then you're going to go up to a G sharp and follow that all the way down to a B in, the, in uh, just using the notes of the scale. 
Okay. Then you're going to go up to an F sharp and then skip a note to the D sharp and then follow that down to the A. So this is what it looks like in real time for the left hand. You put them both together, you got this. Okay. okay, for this last section, we'll use the right hand and your notes are going to look like this. Okay, once you get to that F sharp, you're going to do this little to end it. So together it's going to sound like this. Okay, now for your left hand, your left hand is going to start on a G sharp and it's going to follow that same type of pattern that your right hand did. And when you get to the C sharp, your last notes are going to be. Together they'll sound like this. And there you have it. No.